Tap comes to the near side and one by Sanford. Bulldogs dressed in blue, the key that's in white, and we are underway at Cameron Hall. You know, Wade, I think we're going to be in for an exciting night of basketball. Both teams are going to come out and establish some good rhythm here to get going. And like you said in the opening, Sanford is trying to get themselves established in conference play. K-Fest misses the three as VMI brings the front court. Open look for Otter Huff. He'll take the three. And it's off the mark. And the rebound by Jaden Cam Campbell of Sanford. Now, here's Glover. Leaves his feet, drops it off for Campbell in the left corner. Cardet, Logan Dye, tried to go up and under and came up empty, now whistle. And it looks like a foul will go against Sanford as Wesley Cardet picks up the foul after missing that layup. Yeah, we're gonna see some nice inside work here by Mr. Dye, he just wasn't able to finish the play. Stevens, Candom Kerfman, off to Honor Huff. Bonham has played well for the Keenets, getting the start. Had guard again, deep three. Kerfman gets the game's first basket with a long ball. <laughs> Kerfman's not afraid, and that's his range, Wade. He can certainly put it up from 25, 30 feet out. And showing range is Jaden Campbell. Ties the game at three. Bonham into the paint, draws die to the basket, forces up the shot, no good. Stevens keeps it alive, and now it's a free-for-all and picked up by Sanford. Into the paint, nice move, but Glover can't finish, but then he does. It gets the drop, and now here's Sanford with that pressure after mix. And I believe we're gonna see them all night long, Wade change the tempo with their defense. Kerfman alone again, missing from up top, three-point range, rebound by Sanford. Campbell picks up a double team. Die into the paint against Stevens, turns, a little hook right side, and it is a rebound by Bonham. Huff draws two defenders in. Stevens, back to Bonham. Conway had a big game against Sanford last year. His three-point attempt is blocked. Sanford will push it front court. Cardet, good look, die. The catch and the lay-in, and Sanford with a 7-3 lead. Again, we're seeing Sanford on both makes and misses uh, by VMI looking to push the tempo and get it downhill very quickly. Bulldogs have hit three of their first six shots. Keenets are down 7-3. And an answer by Trey Bonham, his first basket, a three-pointer for the right wing. Second three by BMI tonight, pulls the Keenets within one. Die front court. Whoever is working the scoreboard tonight better get the fingers ready. Shots are gonna go up quickly. Campbell missing a three-pointer. Here's Bonham. Down the lane, drives and scores. Trey Bonham with five straight points for the key. That's to put VMI back on top. And VMI's not afraid when they're pushing the ball away and pushing it with patience, but also pushing it when the opportunity is there. That makes them a very dangerous club. Near steal by Bonham at midcourt. Sanford starting its first wave of substitutions. Bucky McMillan will go deep into his bench. Quinn Ritchie comes in. Also, Jaron Rilly. Rilly played last year, quality minutes for Sanford. Glover, top of the key. Also, Jacob Tryon has checked in. Glover off the dribble, missing and out of bounds. It's of the Big South Conference, so he knows all about playing in front of the court. He certainly is very familiar with VMI and Cameron Hall, and when this place gets rocking and rolling, he won't get rattled. And it's rocking and rolling now as Manns off the bench. Tanner Manns with a three. 
from the wing. While we're talking about the core, they are back. Classes have started. There's a quick answer right side. Dropped in by Quinn Ritchie, the 6'5 sophomore from Johns Creek, Georgia. VMI up 11 to 10. But the core is back, and you can probably hear the rings rattling behind us and rattling the rim there. And the Nets is Tanner Manns with another three. Uh, Tanner Manns can be a nice lift for VMI coming in off the bench. And like you say, when the, the core is in, in the house and they get things rocking, that gives the team a nice shot of adrenaline. Nobody's missing. Jacob Tryon from up top, the 6'11 senior. Two-point VMI lead, 14-12. Trey Bonham right side, draws two defenders to the baseline, looks back for Kerfman, and Kerfman with a three from the right side. And the Keenets have already hit their fifth three-pointer, and we've just played five minutes. That makes it very tough in Cameron Hall when VMI's lighting it up like that, and that three-pointer can be a huge difference maker. Keenets have hit their last five shots from the floor. This is Kafus draws the foul. BMI by five. If we take another look. And just a good, tough drive by Kafus. The thing that impresses you about this Sanford lineup, particularly in the starters, is the length. And they just keep coming with waves of players off the bench. Kafus, 70% free throw shooter, hits to pull. The Bulldogs within four. Campbell comes back in. And the second one is good. Now Cavis will head out. Vail comes in. Bonham into the front court. Bonham kicks it left side. Mance back to Kerfman. Stevens. Huff tried to come around a screen and look for a bounce pass, and it was Aaron. Montre, another player off the bench. Down low to Cardet. Open look. Top of the key. Tryon can hit the three, but he misses there. Sanford controls the rebound. Try on against Stevens. Spins to his left, and the turnaround is good. That's nice, nice move by Jacob Tryon. 6'11, 220. Nice spin move. One point game, 17 to 16. Both shooting percentages pretty good. Keenets have hit their last five shots on the floor, 60% for the game. And Sanford, 6 of 12 for 50%. Mans heads to the bench after those. Two quick threes. Huff also out. Lewis Tang comes in. Bottom now, front court. Tang looks for Stevens. Back to Bottom. Three from up top. Bounces off. Conway, a big offensive rebound. Bottom against Campbell. Pass to Conway, and it's good. What a pass by Trey Bonham to set up that baseline jumper that found the bottom of the net for Conway. Nice look away pass by Trey Bonham. Fall away off the spin. The Trey missing Tang the rebound. Keedets by three, 19-16. Bonham circles it back. Stevens now will work it against Logan Dye. Bonham goes back door, sees two blue, blue jerseys, and there's Die to take it away. Vail doesn't see the numbers, now backs it out. And Sanford spreads the floor. Kick out. Matre missing from three. Out of bounds, it remains Sanford basketball. Okay, that last defensive transition for VMI, Wade, uh, Jake Stevens did a nice job getting back and picking up a, a guard to thwart that uh, offensive transition by Samford. Take the shot, Logan. 
Die gets to the double team. He's going to try this shot. Jump hook, rims out. Kerfman now for the Keenets. Conway. Stevens comes up top to get the ball. Rifles a pass left side to Tang. Jake Stevens. Conway off the Stevens screen. In and out. And the rebound by Cardet. Stevens has yet to score. Not many touches for him. Quick baseline jumper. No. And out of bounds. Head coach. And... No, no question that he would have the scout for this game, being a Birmingham Southern grad and played for Coach Dwayne Rebel, as did Bucky McMillan. You look for all the edges and advantages that you can possibly get from scouting to your players. Coach Rebel now serving as an assistant on the Sanford staff. VMI ball, front court, 19-16. Kedats with a three-point lead. Tang will move it inside. Picks up a couple of... Defenders, and then Kerfman now, head of the key off a high screen. Will shoot. Three-pointer no good, and the rebound cleared by Kafis. Eleven and a half minutes to go. Here in the first half, Conway poked it loose, and then Huff picks it up. Huff will bounce to Tang, stripped on the layup. Out of bounds. We're going to have a foul called against Sanford. Good, good recovery, deflection recovery by VMI. We see it again here, Wade. There was a lot of activity before we picked up on this replay, and then, of course, Tang gets fouled on the way up. This is what VMI likes to do, push it up when they have the opportunity. And Lewis Tang now at the line. Lewis returned to action January 5th after missing a couple of games. And the free throw is good by Tang. VMI continues to shoot free throws well. They're seventh in the nation in free throw shooting. Glover comes back in for Sanford. VMI at 80.3%. Here's Lewis Rowe, the Australian, giving Jake Stevens a little bit of a rest. I told Lewis before the game, I've been watching the Australian Open at night. <laughs> and uh, he's from Adelaide. And uh, told him, I want to go see an Australian uh, Open. Yeah, I'm sure That's that on my list. Lifted his spirits, and uh, maybe you can get some lodging while you're down <laughs> well, that way. He talked to his mom. He said, it is hot down there right now. Three-pointer right side, missing. Sanford with a basketball, down 20 to 16. Fronting Conway on Die and a little bit of a hold there before Die could launch the shot and foul called against the Kedats. Sean Conway with the foul. Mans comes back in. And Lewis Tang will head out. Inbounds off to Die. He sees a double team immediately. He still is going to try to shoot over Rowe and does. Wow. Powered it up. What a basket. Impressive for Logan Die. Logan Die's a, a load down inside, Wade, at 6'9, 240 pounds. And he just, like I said, he just muscled it up. 20 to 18. VMI by two. Deep three. Kerfman. A little short. Rowe had positioning and kept it alive, and VMI retains possession. Rowe very active on that offensive glass that time. Now Rowe will head out and Jake Stevens back in after a brief rest. Ten and a half minutes to go first half, 20 to 18 VMI. Huff off to Stevens and Die was reading it all the way. Steal by Sanford. Second in the league in steals and Glover makes the key catch pay. We're tied, 20 to 20. Glover, just a very quick, quick guard. He has an uncanny ability to get to the glass. And Glover with a steal. VMI does not inbound. And Glover to the basket is fouled. And the Kedats reeling now after a burst of energy by the Sanford Bulldogs playing their style we anticipated. Absolutely. And again, Sanford's going to keep fresh, fresh players on the floor, but they're also going to look to change the pace defensively and then push it at every opportunity offensively. Tang back in. Conway goes out. Sanford basketball, the Conway picked up his second foul, die off the inbounds, and he lays it in. Cut right around Bonham, 
And it's 22 to 20. Sanford with the lead, a 6-0 run by the Bulldogs in just 46 seconds. That's just a quick burst and they got two or three opportunities right in a row. Tang trying to get it to Stevens. They're doing a good job denying Jake the basketball. Tang gets a little separation, hits the wing jumper. Yes, yes he did. Of course, uh, Sanford tried to pick up that offensive player control foul. It just didn't go. A little bit of a flop there. Tang now with three. Glover missing the three. Die. The tip doesn't go. Stevens rips the rebound away from Richie. All tied up. 22-22. Whistle away from the ball. And a foul on Sanford. Play was getting very physical out there. As Jaron really back in the lineup. Bonham off the tang. He'll hand back to Tanner Mance. Stevens into the paint. Kerfman, catch and shoot three. Kando Kerfman has his third three ball. Puts the Keenets up 25-22. Great opportunity there that Jake Stevens did because when Jake gets the ball, you're going to have at least two players collapse on him, and that leaves that perimeter game. Logan Dye showing the range. And Dye with nine points. Tied at 25. Bonham. Off of Tang's fingertips and bottom there to scoop it up. Stevens, bottom left side. Shoots over two defenders. Glover comes across and I think will pick up the foul. Yeah, both, both teams, Wade, are at a little bit of a frantic pace right now because on this replay we see Bonham on that dribble drive down the left side and is able to draw the which, foul. Which coach do you think is more comfortable with the pace of play that we've seen thus far? Honestly, I think Sanford's more comfortable with this, this pace, Wade, and I think this is the pace they want to play at to get uh, VMI into a racehorse basketball because then they're going to see their bench come into play. And as you say that, here come more reinforcements. Try and back in and card it as well. And also Cooper Kafis gets a little face time there back in the game. Trey Bonham. Free throw is good. Trey, second one good. Puts the key nuts up 27-25. That foul was on Cardad. That was his second, so. Now he fires from up top. Three-pointer, no good. Mans tries to protect the basketball as players converge and a whistle, and the arrow will go to VMI. you got to appreciate that kind of floor burn hustle. You know, those 50-50 balls are so important. You saw both clubs diving on the floor. Sanford was picked eighth in the coaches' preseason poll, and the VMI Kedats picked seventh. Bulldogs trying to rebound after a, losing a real tough one to ETSU on Saturday at home. Three-point loss. But close games have been the story for Sanford this year and they've won some close ones five and two in games decided by three points or less close one right now 27 25 Kedat's up by two Kerfman off the dribble a three good Camden Kerfman racking up his fourth bomb of the night Camden Kerfman what a confident player Wade he set that up beautifully with a little crossover dribble quick first step and then just drilled it not just the catch and shoot guy. Kafis from up top, three pointer, no good. Bonham on the rebound for the key. That's Kerfman. Starting to feel it now. Keydets by five. DMI shooting 56% for the floor, seven of 14 in threes. Kerfman, all that action taking place at the Harris Cherokee Center. 
And we have mentioned this before that our Grafton Young broadcast partner is from Asheville, North Carolina. It's a great place for basketball. It's a very inviting city and uh, a little biased, but again, it's a good host city. <laughs> I, I will agree with you. Kerfman off to Bonham, 30 to 25. EMI with a basketball. Kerfman comes off the Steven screen and Cardet. He runs into Stevens, and that is his second. Now, I think I said before that he had two fouls, but actually that is his second. Mans will inbound sideline left. The Kedats have hit their last three shots from the floor. Just over seven minutes remaining as play resumes. Bonham left side off to Mans. Between the circles, Bonham. Huff. Into the paint, right side, Mans. On the dribble, look away pass. Stevens gets his first basket just under the seven minute mark. Yeah, it's a long time for Jake not to be in the books, but uh, he makes it count. But he's doing all the other intangible things, Wade, playing good defense, getting his hands on the ball on the defensive glass, so. Now a 7-0 run by VMI. Low back. Didn't have the shot, now die into the paint. Three second call. You don't see him often, but there no, was one. You don't see that often. I tell you, he got down there, Mr. Die, and he just had no place to go, and official counted it out. Matre in, along with Vale. Kerfman off to Bonham. Bonham now across the timeline. Stevens. Ball out of bounds. They're going to give it to Sanford and the Kedets with turnover number five. Sanford coming up on almost three minutes without a point. Glover back in. Really also back in. Vale heads out. And there, there goes that Sanford bench. I'll tell you what, they just keep rotating them in and out, in and out. Kez Glover, the transfer from Florida, all the way to the basket. And you can see why he is third in the SOCON in scoring. Glover. With a driving layup, now with six points. 32-27, BMI by five. Stevens, kick out, Huff, back to Stevens. Mans bumps into Glover, back to Stevens, shot clock at three. Bonham driving layup and hits with a shot clock winding down. What a shot by Trey Bonham. What a shot just in the nick of time. Back to a seven point lead. Glover, another driving layup. This one off balance. 34-29, Bonham tries to answer. Somehow gets the rebound <laughs> off the miss. Here's Mann's open look. Got it. Well, that's a very courageous shot there, Wade. He took that with no white jerseys in the paint for offensive putbacks. Man's the three-point shot. His third. Sanford with a miss. Kedat's lead 37-29, opening up their largest lead of the game. A foul on VMI. Loose ball variety. Going back to man's, when you're feeling it, you're feeling it, and you're, if you've got the confidence to shoot it, shoot it. Kedets are now 8 of 15 in three-point shots. Second in the nation in three-pointers made per game, averaging 12 and a half. Tryon against Bonham. There is a mismatch. Tryon at 6'11", Bonham at 6 feet. And... You know, that's going to happen a couple of times during the night because just the way the rosters match up. Exactly. And, 
But again, you don't underestimate the, the fight in the player. And Huff in the lane, dropping it in. 39-31. Kiedetz by eight. PMI's hit seven of its last eight shots from the floor. Away from the basketball, foul on Sanford. Kafus picks up his second foul. You can see Tanner Mans is wearing the mask tonight, but it's not affecting his shooting one bit. Three for three from the floor, all long range variety. No, and it's not affecting his defensive play as well, sacrificing his body there to take, pick up that charge. Connor Arnold comes in for Tanner Mans. Mans gets a nice round of applause. Connor Arnold seeing action. A senior from Knoxville, Tennessee. Grace Christian. Here's Huff across the timeline. Huff back to Stevens. Passes up the three. Will work it against Tryon. And draws the foul. Campbell dropped down. Fouled him. And back to the line, Jake Stevens, who is having quite a month of January after a spectacular December. Monday, Jake Stevens named SoCon Player of the Week for the third time. Free throw is good. He'll get one more. Jake, excellent free throw shooter, 85%. That is third in the SoCon. Stevens, 34 points against Mercer, 21 rebounds against the Citadel. And you see that run of 20 point games this year. And he has been very, very consistent and a big, big part of the success that VMI's had thus far in this basketball season. Playing perhaps at the highest level of any Southern Conference player this year. There were some good ones. One of them is on the floor here. Glover bringing the ball up. Malachi Smith will visit on Saturday with Chattanooga. Jake Stevens, you got to put his name. 41-31. Ball in the card, Dad, who's back in. Tryon. Richie thought about taking the three. Now we'll take it as the ball returned back to him. He's knocked to the floor, and Stevens is going to pick up the foul. Up, right Ran there. into him on the follow through, and that will get you a whistle every time. Every time. And Jake was trying to say, hey, after he shot it, he kicked his foot out and hit me. Quinn Ritchie, the sophomore, Johns Creek, Georgia. Transfer from James Madison. And the free throw is good. Bulldogs shave the key that lead to single digits. It's now 41-32 VMI. 330. Eight on the clock. Richie, the second one that is good. Richie getting some work out at the free throw line. He, he hasn't shot all that many. Four for four coming in. He's two for two here, so he's on record pace right now. And the best time free to throw shooting is when the clock is stopped. <laughs> and he gets the roll in the third. BMI by seven, and here comes the pressure by Sanford. Bonham throws it over the top for Manns, makes the catch, and now will drive it to Huff, who hits the three. Well, Trey Bonham had just enough to throw over the top of the free safety. Yes, just enough. And I tell you what, that's just good team basketball and selfish. Die answers with a lay-in for Sanford. 44-36, Dye in double figures with 11. Here's the pressure. Stevens cross the timeline, Bonham now. Back to Jake, he'll take the three. He got it. Jake Stevens. Took him a while, but he knocks down his first three. Under three minutes to go. And that's just teammates believing in teammates. And that's a, just fun to watch when these guys are on. 47-36 VMI. Oh. 
Ritchie tries to bounce to die, had it deflect right back to him. Shot clock at three. Lay in, missed everything, and there's a shot clock violation. Keenets will run up floor. Kerfman, kick out. Hoff scoops it up. What a move. By Sanford to rattle them. And once you get it past that first wave, usually there's good things awaiting on the other end. Glover. Bouncing on the perimeter. Cardet. And it will remain Sanford basketball off the miss. Not quite sure what happened there. I thought that was going to be VMI's ball the other way, but evidently not. Under two minutes to go. 14 to go on the shot clock as really will play it in. Glover between the circles. Right side. Three-pointer rattles out. Ritchie, loose ball, picked up half court. Glover stops at the free throw line off the dribble. Jumper no good. Ritchie, three. Got it. Ben might did as about as best they could do their way with the scrambling and rotating defensively, just trying to keep the, the play alive for as long as possible. 49-39, VMI by 10. Kerfman, deep three. No good. Rowe taps it, but in to Ritchie. Glover will run. Waits. Kick out. Really. Three-pointer in and out, and a foul on Ritchie as he was fighting with Kerfman on the rebound. Approaching the final minute of the first half. Kedet's lead 49-39. Really with his second. And now the Kedet's will go to the line for a one and one. Candom Kerfman, another one of these excellent free throw shooters for VMI, 84%. I mean, you look up and down and you see Mid-70s, high-70s, 80% shooters. And that's where you want your players to be, Wade, and they're, they're shooting the ball extremely well from the charity strike. <laughs> Kerfman already in double figures with 12. Candom Kerfman. Fifth in the SoCon in scoring right now, just under 18 points a game as you look at his numbers. And actually he is second in three-pointers made. He has been leading in that category most of the year. He just checks in number two coming into the game. But I tell you what, he may be leading it right now with four <laughs> three-pointers. He may be back on top. Well, if he's number two, then that just gives him more to work for. There's a big two, dunk variety by Logan Dye. 51-41, Sanford back to pressure. Keedetz with the lead. And Kerpen called tonight, and the results have shown that. Oh, no, no doubt about it. When you look up and down the, the league standings, Wade, you, it just goes to tell you that Southern Conference is a good conference. It's a good brand of basketball. It's a good brand of athletics. Tang against the 2-3 zone. Kerfman back to Stevens. 11 to go on the shot clock. Bonham from the left corner. Three-pointer no. Really now will push it up the floor. Die. Back to Glover. Six to go in the first half. Glover blocked by Bonham. Sanford's not going to get a shot off. That will not count. That Glover, Cardet. Campbell, Die, Kafus for Sanford. Second half underway. They go right back to Die, and the Kedats double down, come up with a steal. Hey, heads up play by Van Mine there. 
what they had was a four round one with Die down in the hole, and he was gonna they were gonna let Die just go to work on Jake. But uh, Vim, I had some other things in mind. Stevens between the circles. Well, he turns, shoots, three pointer rattles out. He went to the basket and nobody was around him, so he took the open three. Looking for our first points of the second half. They're going to go. Well, die, missing. Ball knocked out of bounds. It remains Sanford basketball. Cardet goes out. Campbell actually comes in. He did not start the second half. Inbound, stolen by Bonham. He'll race two on one. He'll take the shot himself. Blocked. Blocked by Campbell. Jaden Campbell, the sophomore. Coming off a big game Saturday, we had 20 points, a career high against ETSU. Am I missing? Now Sanford off the rebound. One minute gone by, second half. Free throw line jumper short for Glover. Conway the rebound. He does push it into the offensive zone. Kerfman in the first half. 14 points. And a couple more here. He'll go to the line. Again, if you don't stop the ball, you don't pick up the dribbler, these things will happen. And no one picked up Mr. Kerfman right from the top, right down the seam. Andam Kerfman now working on a 16-point night. Has scored in double figures in all 18 VMI games, now 19. And the free throw good. Kedets by 13, 54 to 41. Three-point to left side. Rattles out for Campbell. Kedets again push. Conway on transition. Nice transition by VMI. Not, not such an easy shot by Kerfman. He had to go underneath the rim and used his left hand and the rim as a protector. Sean Conway now with four. He had a big game against Sanford last year, 22 points. Tough work. Lover gets the runner. Glover in double figures with 10 now. 56-43. Conway from the corner, three short. Glover now into the front court. Glover isolating now, kick out. Richie back to Glover between the circles. Really. Glover off a screen. See Stevens circles it back. Die will take the three and hits. He can hit the outside shot. Die dropping in his second three pointer. He's working on a 16 point night. Pull Sanford within 10. Kerfman. His fifth three pointer. Candom Kerfman puts the key that's up 59 46. Kerfman now. With five or more threes in eight games this year. Glover missing from three. Die a strong offensive rebound. Another one for Sanford. And really rams in the three from the right wing. His first basket. 59 49. Off right side, off to Kerfman. Looking for Stevens. He thought he was tied up. Honor Huff from downtown. And when you move the basketball around, you manage to pull that defense out of position and you end up with some wide open shots just like that. Huff is second three. Die continues to pump in threes. He's now three for three beyond the arc. Logan Dye now 19 points to lead Sanford in scoring, 62-52. 
Stevens, cut Conway, layup just off. Rebound by Sanford, 62-52. Keenets are up by 10. 15 and a half minutes to go, Glover calls for a die screen. Works it against Conway and blocked by Stevens. Here's VMI the other way. Huff scores. He nets by a dozen. Honor Huff now with a dozen. Good downhill basketball by VMI. Richie top of the key. Keenets led by 10 at the break. Neither team has been able to get many stops here in the second half. They've been trading baskets. Keenets have punched out their lead to 12, and that's cut in with the long one from Rilly. Now 64-55, Rilly with six points. Huff into the front court. Stevens, left side, it's VMI 64. Sanford 55, Conway. Makes it 66-55 with a driving layup. Good, good heads up basketball once again, Wade. Nice backdoor cut and a nice bounce pass by Jake Stevens. Stopping Holden. And the key that's to, to grasp that you know, Princeton style and all that motion away from the basketball and the high low. And it just, you're a coach, Grafton, you know it, it takes time, but it all clicked last year. It did, and when you get that buy-in and when the, when the young men start to have success and they see what it's all about and they start believing a little bit more and they realize, hey, this can be our style of play. And they and they have ownership in it now, Wade, and, and it, it truly shows out there on the floor. We are without our score bug right now, so we'll give you the score a little bit more often. Right now it's 66-57, VMI, 14.05 left. Kerfman, right side, goes cross court, picked off by Kafis. Cavis into the front court, top of the key. Latre, whistle. And a turnover by Sanford. BMI gets it back. Just under 14 minutes to go. BMI 66 and Sanford 57. A little half court pressure. Three quarters now by Sanford is Kerfman off to Huff. Huff! Three-pointer. Honor Huff now. His third three-pointer. 15 points for Honor Huff. He had a season-high 15 against the Citadel. Keenets with a stop. Conway. Back to Kerfman. Scorebug is back. Keenets lead 69-57, and Sanford with the steal. Tryon, missing, Huff the rebound. Up the left sideline, on her Huff into the front court. Stevens back to Kerfman, draws a crowd, Mans from the corner, Conway offensive rebound, and he's fouled. That is what Sean Conway does. Comes out of nowhere, gets the ball on the offensive glass. He does a nice job, Wade, coming in there from that weak side, just slicing in there and crashing the glass. And goes to the free throw line as well, Sean Conway, 67% from the line. Conway with six career double-doubles, two this year. As we said, 22 points a year ago on this floor against Sanford. He had six threes. Lewis Rowe comes back in. And a look at Trey Bonham tonight. Bonham, six assists. He's been the glue. He's done a nice job thus far in this contest tonight. First on the free throw, successful. Second a miss, 70 to 57 as Sanford brings the front court. Powering it up, off balance. Cardette missing, Conway the rebound. Kerfman extending his range, goes to the floor, whistle. We'll take it the other way, away from the basketball. I think this will go against Lewis Rowe. Yes, 
70 to 57. Tryon goes to the bench. Bucky McMillan trying to get some scoring punch, finding the right combination. They, Sanford has gone without a point for over two minutes. Yeah, I believe they've, they've hit a little bit of a wall, Wade. They came out just firing it up, shooting it quite well by putting, putting Dye out there on the perimeter. And now they're having a hard time buying a basket. Cardet off the slip screen, missing the layup. Bonham, stop and go. Too strong off the window. And the rebound by Rilly. PMI still well over 50% shooting for the game, 57%. Glover short. Bonham with a rebound. Trey Bonham drives it down, spins, drop off. Lewis Rowe, layup. 21, and then he leaves the SoCon in rebound in a little under 10. So. And uh, throwing a career-high 34 points against Mercer last week as Lewis Rowe finishes the three-point play. Look at Jake getting a breather. He's only got seven points tonight, but he's got four assists. You know, they really concentrated on him, but he has distributed the ball. He really has, and it chipped in five ribbies as well. Sanford missing on the three, die the rebound. Glover, as he leaves his feet, he is going to be fouled. Sean Conway, third foul. 11-12 remaining. Keydets up by 16. That is their largest lead of the night. Richie, Glover against Tang. Really back to Richie. Keydets the 2-3. Doubling the corner, Dye gives up the ball. Four to go on the shot clock. Driving layup, stripped Campbell. Ball kicked in the backcourt, loose. Richie slides and gets it. Saves the possession for Sanford. And then Glover tries to scoop it up. A wild shot, did not draw iron. Trying to wrap around Rowe. Bottom, Kerfman, a little short on the three, Kerfman. Gets the carom. Bounces the tang. Layup no good. Richie from the corner. Three rattles out. Another offensive rebound for Sanford as it goes out of bounds. Keydets lead 73-57. Despite 13 offensive rebounds by Sanford. Again, there's just a lot of activity up and down that time. And uh, no points dropped in there, but a lot of activity both sides of the court. Kedis have gotten some good bench scoring tonight, thanks to Tanner Manns. Rowe also trying a three from up top and miss it. That may be the first three he has tried this year. Uh, a little no, he was 0 for 4 that. coming in. Okay. Die. Lost his footing. Richie tied up. And VMI gets it on the arrow. Past the midway point of the second half. Again, we just see a lot of activity up and down. Neither team is dropping it in the hole right now, Wade. But again, just a, a flurry of activity up and down the floor. Stevens comes back in. Jake has played just under 25 minutes tonight. Bottom against the full court pressure. Now I would look for Sanford to really try to throttle it up on defense now, trying to get even more turnovers. But the Keenets have done a good job tonight. There's nine turnovers. Against the pressure, and Stevens a three from the right side. And that's what happens, as we said earlier, Wade. You get it past that first wave or that second wave, and then great things will happen if you have people in the right position. And that time, Stevens was. Jake Stevens in double figures with 10. But Trey, Tryon, out of room, kicks it. Really, three, good. 
all facing full court pressure. Now Bonham against Kafis. Man to man now by Sanford. Bonham steers it left. Stevens right side. Off to Huff. Ten to go on the shot clock. Jake had it knocked loose. Ball on the perimeter with seven. Here's Bonham trying to create. And he does. Oh, wow. Trey Bonham gets it to go. Knocked to the floor. Draws the foul. Uh, you know, you want to say he had nice hang time, even though he was not elevated that high ball off the floor, but he managed to defy gravity for as long as he could before to put it on the glass. And he Draws did that. the contact. Yeah. Came down a little gingerly on the on the floor there as the foul against Sanford. Cardet picks up the foul. Bonham, another solid night, is in double figures, piling up the assist as the free throw is good. Trey Bonham now with a dozen as he'll head out. And the key to that lead now is 19. Really? Off the dribble, free throw line jumper good for Kez Glover with 14 points. Sanford, pressure. Kerfman back to Honor Huff. Sees the trap. Middle of the floor now for Kerfman. Huff, fumble it momentarily, now dribbles into Stevens. Not there, then drives in. He's blocked. Boy, taken away. Athletic play by Campbell. And the transition layup by Glover. And Conway. Mans. Sanford really looking to turn up the heat. Conway. I'm sure from a VMI standpoint, you wished it had worked out a little differently. And, but... It is what it is, as they say. We're now playing ball again. So the key, that's we'll have to play shorthanded with 7.30 to go. And Sanford with Glover hitting the jumper to cut the BMI lead to 13. Now Huff back to Kerfman. Huff off to Kerfman. Left side, Tanner Mans. Three. Good. Rattles it in. Tanner Mans off the bench. Another three. 82-66. Glover against Mann's jumper, air ball. Right into the arms of Kafis. Kafis now drives, goes up and under, left-hander no good. Jake Stevens the rebound. Under seven minutes to go. Kedet's trying to be strong with the basketball against this Sanford pressure. Huff back to Stevens. Mans the catch. Textbook oh, cut to the basket. High low. High low, and I tell you, that was a bounce pass from beyond the arc at the top by Jake Stevens. 84-66, three. Rip the Nets, Kafis. He's got five points. Stevens, back to Kerfman, comes into the front court. Bonham sets, three, good. Now 16 threes for the key, Nets. I tell you, Vim Ice is playing with a high level of confidence right now, and the fact that they're down one weight as far as a player teammate, they're gonna pick up the pace. Glover draws the foul. Trey Bonham picks up his third. Can, clock cannot move fast enough for VMI. 87-69, they've lost Sean Conway. The Kedats coming in the game didn't have much of a bench to begin with. No. 
Connor Arnold comes in. Three-pointer left side, no good. Kafus rebound by the Kedets. Eighty-seven, sixty-nine. Arnold with a driving layup for his first basket. Just precision passing once again by Jake Stevens. Eighty-nine, sixty-nine. The Kedets take their first twenty-point lead. Really. No go on the three. Kerfman in and out from three. Five minutes ago. Glover back. Die back to work. Fans thought he walked. It goes back to VMI. Yeah, just. You see a lot of pressing from the standpoint of trying to make something happen on the offensive end by the Sanford players, and VMI is just playing their game. So this game is really starting to favor VMI in terms of momentum. Uh, shot score from beyond the arc. Kedets continue to shoot well. They've hit four of their last five. Another scoring drop for Sanford of two and a half minutes. Kerfman back to Manns. Huff. Huff crossed the timeline. Back to Manns. Drives it up. Forces it up. No good. Arnold trying to fight for the rebound. And Sanford with the basketball. Four and a half minutes to go. Over Stevens. Short for Cardet. Kerfman the other way. And a timeout taken by the Kedats. This will go as a full timeout as well. Kedats with a 20 point lead with a four minute mark approaching at Cameron Hall. I'll tell you what, if we come back to play, Bottom has just been such a good player all night long, but he's done a tremendous job distributing the basketball, has seven assists uh, along with 15 points. So he's done a, a wonderful job in this ball game tonight. Back to live action, Honor Huff with a three from up top. Huff with the three, 18 points to bottom with seven assists. And that matches his career high of seven last year. It's a season high seven this year. Hey, Taylor, you're good. Good. You're not. <laughs> you're not good, Jerry. Vale from the corner. Really good. VMI by 20. 3.44 left, 92-72 VMI. Huff into the front court. Huff back to Kerfman. Huff had the ball poked free by Rilly, who's got the ball now front court. Matray. Really? Through the foul against Kerfman. Just over three minutes left. PMI trying to get back to back wins after dropping three straight. Prior to that, VMI. Won six of seven as they entered the new year. Really, free throw good. Kedets have Sanford down on the bonus. Really, in double figures with 12 points. Cardet to the bench. Bonham comes back in. Arnold out. 
Arnold has played well in his limited time. He really has, Wade, and he's given him some nice, like you say, some nice relief minutes. Played within himself and contributed. Second one really is good. Bottom cross the timeline. Ninety-two seventy-four. Bottom back to Stevens. Kerfman catch and shoot. Rips the nets. Candom Kerfman. Seven three pointers. And that is a career high for most threes in a game for Candom Kerfman. He has shot the ball extremely well tonight. Not only has he shot it, he's made them. Kerfman, 26 points. Bonham takes it away. Kedetz with this one in hand now with two minutes to go. 95-74, 18 three-pointers for VMI. They're going to spread them out, Wade. Still staying with their basic offensive formation, but just a little wider. Huff continues the trend. Well, the Keenitz hit 22 threes on opening night against Carlo, and that may be in jeopardy. <laughs> they got 19 in the books now. Stevens with the rebound. Number eight for him. Keenitz. Two points away from the century mark, and now they'll go deeper into the bench as Tang, Arnold, and Lewis Rowe will come in. Jake Stevens will lead with 10 points, eight rebounds. Tandem Kerfman, 26 points. Honor Huff, a career high, 21 points. Trey Bonham stays out there. 1.30 to go. Tanner Manns also. Goes to the bench with 11 points, three three-pointers. BMI spreads the floor. And Bonham knocked to the floor. Again, BMI's gonna be very, very deliberate way. They're not gonna look to score unless it's absolutely there. They're gonna play. Going to play the odds, and of course now we got a chance with uh, Bonham at the free throw line, shooting a one on one. Free throw is good for Trey Bonham. Well, there's a look at our next ESPN broadcast for both teams. Sanford will be at UNCG. The Keydets right here against Chattanooga. 1-12 to go. 99-74. Keydets cannot get the century mark. One of two free throws. Into the final minute. Really, from the corner, Vail knocks in a three. 99-77, Sanford continues. They'll apply pressure in the backcourt as Huff into the front court. Bottom to the free throw line, look for Tang. Tang in trouble, the ball knocked. Out of bounds. Yeah, he went to that baseline drive and nowhere to go. He got stopped and didn't. Not a great place to be when you get stuck on the baseline, particularly underneath the basket. Playing out the last 18 seconds of this one. Three-pointer missed by Vale on the other side. Whistle to stop play. Five final seconds for VMI. Really? Inbounded left side. Richie at three, and there's a foul on Connor Arnold. Uh, 
Well, the Keenats are going to post a, another sizable win over Sanford on this floor for the second consecutive time. They won 85-56 last year. Richie at the free throw line with four seconds left. First is good. Dan Earl has to be pleased with what he's seen tonight. I would think so, Wade. He wasn't quite pleased with that last foul by Arnold as he went over to the uh, scores table and sort of turned his back, put his head down. It's kind of like, I'm sure he's thinking, why? Why? Close out, but stop short on that. Richie, perfect five of five from the free throw line. Now six of six. And it's 99 to 80. Ball inbounded. That will do it. And the VMI Kita 